Hey, I'm Eric, and I'm here to introduce you to the course for the Davis County Antelope by Moonlight bike ride. Get ready for a fun 24-mile road ride that starts at the Antelope Island Marina and takes you down to the historic Fielding Gar Ranch and back. Check-in begins at 7 p.m., and the ride starts at 10. But keep in mind, the entrance to Antelope Island State Park closes at 9.30, so if you're not through by then, you won't be allowed on the island, and you'll miss out on all the fun. So plan ahead. Upon arrival, park your vehicle in the designated parking area south of the marina and join the pre-party. There will be music, entertainment, food trucks, local vendors, and more. Costumes and bike decorations are highly encouraged. There are contests for best costume and best bike decor with great prizes for the winners. As the start time nears, grab your bike and line up with all the other riders. Remember to bring your bike headlight, taillight, and helmet. This is a nighttime event and you won't be allowed to participate without this required gear. So here's the course. Start at the causeway and head south on Main Park Road. About a half mile in, take your first left on the Antelope Island Road. From there, it's a straight shot the next 11 and a half miles to the turnaround at Gar Ranch. Remember, the course is not flat. Antelope Island Road features a few rolling hills with roughly 900 feet of elevation over the 24 mile distance. As you approach mile six, you'll pass the road to Frary Peak, the highest point on the island. It's a great hike with outstanding views. Come back and hike it sometime, during the day of course. Keep riding south six more miles and you'll arrive at the halfway point, Fielding Gar Ranch, a Utah historical site built way back in 1848. At the ranch, you're welcome to hop off your bike and take a short break. There will be water, snacks, restrooms, and first aid available. When you're ready, ride back to the finish 12 miles the same way you came. Watch out for other riders who may be headed in the opposite direction before and after the turnaround. Remember to practice good bike etiquette. Pass other riders as you would if you were driving a car. If you're a slower rider, stay to the right. If you're planning on passing someone, pass on the left. Once you've passed, move back to the right. And be especially careful of those around you if you're on a powered e-bike. With great power comes great responsibility. The course can take one to three hours to complete, depending on how fast you ride. But take your time. The Moonlight Bike Ride is an experience, not a race. In fact, you can turn around any time you decide you've had enough and ride whatever distance you choose. Just make sure you do so in a safe spot, away from oncoming bike traffic. The Moonlight Bike Ride is designed to be a fun night, shared with friends and family, and maybe a bison or two far off in the distance. You'll enjoy the stunning backdrop of Davis County's twinkling lights and ride along one of Utah's most beautiful landscapes, Antelope Island by Moonlight. When you arrive at the finish, the music will still be going. Grab a cold drink, cheer on other riders as they come in, and pack up your gear. When you're ready to head home, drive safely and watch out for bikes. That's it. For more information about the Antelope by Moonlight bike ride, including a course map, contest details, and FAQs, visit antelopebymoonlight.com. We look forward to seeing you on the island for Davis County's Antelope by Moonlight bike ride.